Hello friends, have you ever heard of a road with a charging lane? Or do you know about a walkway that charges itself from your footsteps? Or have you heard of a road that repairs its potholes without any external aid? Engineers at the University of Nottingham have created capsules which when poured into damaged roads make the cracks stick back together. Yes, we're seeing some serious advancement in the field of pavements and highways. So our today's episode is about the recent advancements and smart technologies being adopted in the field of highways and roadways. Without further ado, let's delve straight in. Scientists in the Netherlands came up with a solution for roads that get damaged easily. It's called the self-healing roads. They mixed small steel wool pieces into the asphalt. Once the road starts deteriorating, they can run an induction machine over it. This machine creates a magnetic field, which caused a current to flow into the asphalt. Heating it up and melting the road slightly as a result, the cracks can be repaired easily. Scientists believe that if this machine would run over the roads every four years, their lifespan will double from 12 years to 24 years. But there's no such problem with smart roads. These smart roads are equipped with sensors and optical cables. These roads will be connected to your car and the police. The road will be able to determine if your car is moving or stationary or if an accident has occurred and then automatically report it to the police and ambulance. And that's not all because optical cables are embedded in the road. You will get high speed 5G internet from the router on the road. This will make self-driving cars even more efficient. And since all cars will be connected to the same network, there won't be any traffic jams. So all is well for 2024 and beyond. In Sweden, the government has started working on electrified roads. They built a two kilometer stretch with electric rails embedded in the road. As electric cars pass over this stretch, they automatically connect to the rails and start charging their batteries. Tonight, the new technology that could redefine what it means to go electric. It's 66%. We've been driving a few minutes and now it's at 68. Exactly. The Swedish government is now planning to extend this to 50 kilometers. Did you know that many companies are working on wireless charging roads? For example, a company called Electrion has developed a road with copper coils embedded in it. These coils are connected to electricity, so any car that supports wireless charging will start charging as soon as it drives over these roads. When you uh, use the quick charge, uh, you will have to have a system where you uh, easily can get range anxiety. You, uh, you have to build up a system where you can always charge at a high effect. You need large batteries to do that, to, to be sure that you can go wherever you want to go. With this technology, you can have smaller batteries and you can charge while you go. However, wireless charging does have a downside, as about 30% of the electricity is wasted. But hey, it's all about convenience, right? The next innovation about road is glow-in-the-dark roads. Yes, these glow-in-the-dark roads use photoluminescent paint or materials that absorb sunlight during the day and emit a soft glow at night. This can enhance nighttime visibility, reduce the need for street lighting and improve road safety. These materials can be applied to lane markings, road signs and other critical areas to ensure they are clearly visible even in low light conditions. When you travel on highways, you got the lane markings and shoulder marking, right? But the futuristic smart roads have got dynamic lanes leading to smart traffic management. Dynamic lanes use LED lights embedded in the road surface to change lane markings and directions based on traffic conditions. This can help manage congestion during peak hours or provide dedicated lanes for emergency vehicles. Coupled with smart traffic management systems, dynamic lanes can optimize traffic flow and reduce delays.